to the channel monica love here at the love messages so today we're going to be doing a juice reading now this is going to be a general reading so it may resonate with you it may not if it does resonate with you there will be a link in the description box for the extended so if you're new to the channel welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so if you all don't know uh the juice reading is a timeless reading so when you're watching it if you click on it then uh it's your time to be here, okay? Um, so what I usually do before I get into the reading, I'm gonna explain a little bit quickly about how the reading uh, works, as well as uh, mention any announcements, okay? Like uh, upcoming announcements, things that I need to share with the community. Um, I highly recommend that you don't skip over this section of the reading um, because you may miss important information that you might need um, to hear that you may need to know about some developments that uh, we're going to be doing okay now there's going to be an extended reading if you're interested in the extended reading it will be approximately as long as this reading so if this reading is 30 minutes the extended will be 30 minutes if it's an hour extended will be an hour okay so it's going to vary how long this uh reading lasts for okay at the end of the reading i do uh, ask a question get an answer so if you're someone who has a burning question that you want answered it needs to be a um, answer that could be a question that could be answered with a yes or no um, so i will be pulling three cards with the um angel answers so if you're interested in that it doesn't cost you anything all you have to do is comment your question in the live feed or comment below in the comment section so that your message your your question can get out there and make sure you're hitting the like button so that you're showing gratitude for the channel and for my efforts uh, in the reading okay so your engagement is priceless to me so it's very important that um, you're engaging okay because that helps the channel it helps maintain the views on the channel and helps other people find the channel that really need it okay so um, even if you can't donate that's fine there's other ways that you can contribute to the channel okay um, so with that being said I'm gonna head into the announcements I have some really important announcements that I feel a lot of you need to hear um, and you need to know okay so the first announcement I want to make is that I I do um, have a sale going on in my store um, so I know a lot of you've been contacting me and asking me well what tarot decks do you use and you know how do I get them and stuff like that so most of the tarot decks that I use on the channel are mini tarot decks okay they're not original um, um, tarot decks so if you're interested in the tarot decks that I use they're all in my store all you have to do is click the link below okay so if you go in the, the uh, description box below there's a link that says buy three get one free you can click on that and it gives you a list of the tarot decks that I use in the store okay you can purchase from the store um, so that's there if you're interested in that okay also um other you know developments and stuff that have been happening in the store we do now have a chat system okay so between 10 a.m and 3 p.m eastern standard time you know we have customer service representatives available uh, for you um of course it's important that when you're contacting the store it's about a product okay it's not um it's not about asking for personal readings or you know um talking about you know your life and everything like that we really have to respect the customer service um you know people in their time because they're there to help people right they're there to really help people with their orders and stuff like that so um if that's something that you need that's available to you you know if you need information about your extended reading or you need information about your products that you purchase in our store then somebody will be um, there to help okay so there's a lot of resources on the website now there's absolutely no reason for you not to be able to contact us if you have an issue okay so that's there if that's something that you that you need to use okay so that's the first um I guess first second announcement the next announcement I have is about Instagram okay now a lot of you have been contacting me and saying oh well you know this person's copying you and you know I've had people <laughs> literally in the last few days steal my videos and post them on you know their own Instagram account so I get it I get a lot of people want to be like me and they can't um, I get it I get there's a lot of jealousy there's a lot of um, you know people really interested in stealing my content to make money and it's more than just stealing my content um, I actually have a passion and I love what I do I really love helping the collective um, I've you know studied astrology for 21 years 
Um, I've had a lot of people steal and take from me and I don't appreciate it. Okay. I've worked really, really hard to get where I am today. Um, and you know, gratitude, that's all it takes is gratitude and, and really appreciating the things that you have in your life. So I highly recommend that you don't steal my content and you don't steal photos and all of that because you will be caught and those will be taken down and they will be removed. Okay. So I've already done that. I'm, I have already contacted the necessary people for that to happen. Now, the other thing I want to mention, okay, cause I went off on a tangent a little bit. Um, Instagram, I don't post on Instagram anymore. Okay. I don't use Instagram anymore and I don't post on it. And there's a few reasons why, um, the primary reason as to why I don't post on it is because, uh, Instagram has not been acknowledging me. They have been not, um, acknowledging the fact that I do have a very large following on YouTube and they should be verifying the account to avoid scammers and other people, um, you know, from being confused, right? You know, you guys oftentimes you're calling you're you're contacting me and you're confused you're asking me if i have another instagram account and i don't i have one instagram account okay and all my videos are there i've literally taken down my um I've taken down pictures of my family on there. I've taken pictures down of myself. I've taken pictures down and it's unfortunate, right? Because I'd love to share, you know, a lot of things with you guys. I want to share, um, you know, what I do in my day to day life. I want to share what I wear. I want to share all these things with you, but I'm not able to do it when there's people copying me on Instagram and Instagram is not acknowledging. Okay. The fact that, and, and it's not only me, it's a lot of other tarot readers in the community and nobody is saying anything about it. So for me, I've learned in my life that if I don't like something and I don't agree with it, I just don't engage. <laughs> I just don't engage. I stop using it. I stop engaging. I start, I stop participating and that's just who I am. You know, if I don't agree with something, I disengage myself from it. And, you know, I think right now, um, the best thing for me is to be on platforms that support me and support, you know, who I am as a reader in the community. So, um, I feel like I needed to share that with you all because I want you all to know that, you know, what I do here is something I genuinely love doing. Okay. Um, you know, <laughs> I just love doing what I do. I'm not going to get up every single day and do something that I don't love doing. Right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to be posting on Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can go ahead, but I'm probably not going to post anything, anything there. The most that I'm probably going to post on there is on the story. Um, you know, where I say, Hey everyone, you know, I've just uploaded new videos, but I'm not going to be posting my photos. I'm not going to be posting any videos. I don't need to, I don't need to post anything on Instagram because it's just not, um, it's just not benefiting me and it's not benefiting my, um, subscribers or my followers. Okay. So that's kind of what it is. Um, I won't be answering any DMS on Instagram. So if you have a problem with your product, like I said, you can contact, um, contact customer service on the website and somebody will help you. Okay. So I really felt like I needed to say that because now there's no excuse, right? If somebody is uh, contacting you or following you on Instagram, it's not me. Cause I'm not there. I simply have just, you know, the love message Instagram there just to have it there, but I don't use Instagram because I don't need to. Okay. So if somebody, someone is watching from Instagram or, or, or Instagram, you're watching, I will not use your platform anymore. Okay. So unless you're going to verify my account and give me the necessary, um, acknowledgement for who I am and what I've done in the community, I don't need to be on your platform. Okay. So that's how we do things here. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the announcement that I have. You know, I, I don't have time for scammers. I don't have time for people that want to be like me, you know, either, you know, find your passion, do something that you love to do, but don't take advantage of people in the tarot community. Okay. That has to stop. And these big companies that know what's going on and aren't doing anything about it. You all really have to ask yourself if you want to be supporting these people because every day you guys are on that stuff and you're supporting them. Right? So you know, to come back to me and say, well, Monica, why aren't you doing anything about it? I can't do anything about it. If you guys are still on Instagram, supporting Instagram and liking posts and posting on it, you're ultimately telling Instagram that what they're doing is okay. And it's not. And that's why I've stopped engaging on it. I stopped posting. I don't need to post. It's, it's me sending a message to these companies that look, we're the ones that make, you know, it's like my subscribers. If it's not for you guys watching my stuff, I would not be here. I would not be successful. So my subscribers and my followers come first 
Those are the first people that I have to take care of, okay? So it's the same with these big companies. If they're just gonna sweep problems under the rug and they're not going to consciously be aware that it is affecting people globally um, and they're not doing anything about it, then I don't need to post on their platform. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem just not posting because I have 20 million other things that I can be doing. I don't have to be on Instagram, okay? So I needed to rant about that, you know? Um, I needed to say what I needed to say about that. So that's my announcement. I don't have any other announcements to make. I'm gonna jump into the reading. Um, if you'd like to share your drink that you're drinking, I'm drinking water. As you all know, I'm, I'm always drinking water. Um, so if you are drinking something, do let us know below in the comments and let us know a juice recipe if you'd like to share it with us so let's get into the reading I'm gonna start off by pulling a card for you and your person as well as the energy between you and your person we're gonna also be looking at the astrological influences that are taking place um, at this time I'm gonna also be looking at um, any other Oracle messages if I feel they're necessary to pull I will and finally, at the end of the reading, before I do ask a question, get an answer, I'm going to be pulling cards for each sign. Um, I'm not going to be pulling them on camera here. I'm not going to have time to do that. So if you want to support the channel and you want to support me, you can purchase the extended reading below. And in the extended, I'm going to go way more in depth with everything. We're going to see how your person feels about you, the actions, potential outcome, what they want to say to you. Um, are they coming back? Are they going to return? Are you going to have a reconciliation with them? If you're single and you're watching this, um, um, it's this reading is more or less about you attracting someone in your life okay so if you're somebody who's not interested in love and you're like I'm not interested in love don't care about it don't want to hear about them this is not the channel for you okay um, the love messages means the love messages which means anything to do with love will be discussed on this channel okay so if you're single and you're like oh well the reading doesn't resonate with you you know the readings not for you simple as that okay um, so let's get into the reading and uh, let's see what's going on with you and your person. Okay, let's start with you. Ooh, you have the King of Pentacles, okay? So you could be a Virgo Capricorn Taurus here. Um, it looks like you're doing pretty well. It looks like you are pretty financially well off. You have some sort of business you've started or maybe you've been saving your money here. We're gonna clarify and see what that's all about. What energy is your person in? We have the Six of Swords. A lot of you are dealing with somebody here who's choosing to disconnect from you. Okay, they're choosing to disconnect from this situation. Could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or you can be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Now, one of the things I want to uh, mention to you in this reading is, is that you could be on either side. You can be on this side or you can be on that side. The point here is for you to hear the messages, okay? Don't expect the reading to resonate from point A to point B. I'm not here to resonate with everybody. I'm only here to resonate with people who really need the message, okay? So if you're somebody who's watching this and you're like, you know what, Monica, I really need a message right now. I don't know what's going on in my love life I don't even know what's going on in my personal life then this is the channel for you okay so it looks like there's someone here that's disconnecting from you okay or they have walked away or they have disconnected we're gonna find out why this happened uh, in a moment when we clarify now what is the energy happening uh, going on between you and this person at this present time okay you have the Queen of Cups so it looks like you both love each other. There's a really strong energy here. Yeah, you both really love each other. Look at that. You have the Queen of Cups and the Lovers. Some of you are Gemini that are watching this or you're a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So whoever this person is and, you know, whoever this person is that you've been dealing with, I feel like you've been wanting to offer this person love. They've been wanting to offer you love. You both definitely met because it is a divine connection here. Um, you have the Queen of Pentacles here. I feel like you're dealing with somebody right now who is very much, um, there, there's something that has broken you two apart. And I feel like there could have been a third person involved here, okay? A third person who kind of got into the way here of what is going on. So let's get into your reading and let's do some clarification. I'm going to also pull some cards on the side and we're going to see what is happening, you know, behind the scenes. If this person did disconnect from you, which it looks like they have, the question is, what are they doing now? Are they planning on coming back? What's in their mind? What's really going on behind the scenes? So before I get into that, I'm going to clarify with the um, holographic tarot. Okay, it shines like this. So if you're interested in cards like this that shine, 
Those are also in the buy three, get one free. So those are on the website as well too. Those are the ones that I've chosen to use today. So let's get into the reading and uh, let me clarify the King of Cups. Why are you the King of Cups? What's going on with you at this time? Okay, so the King of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, really interesting, right? Um, there's something here about you, like, I feel like you really love somebody here, okay? You really love them. You really want truth. You want clarity. You want to know if this person truly loves you, if they truly want to be with you. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. How does this person, what is the energy surrounding this person at this time? Okay. So for many of you, I'm really strongly getting two significant stories here, okay? So the first story I'm getting is some of you are dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer. I'm getting fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Leo is really strong here. A lot of you are dealing with somebody here who's choosing to end a situation. They're choosing to disconnect from it. Some of you are dealing with somebody here who's needed to disconnect from a marriage um, or a commitment in order to be with you. Okay. So there's something here about one, there's like a transition that's happening right now because somebody here, both you and this person believe that you're meant to be together. There's something here about a very strong connection in the present moment. And I feel like you're dealing with someone, water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe a Gemini or a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Somebody here really loves the other person. Like they really do. And I feel like there's a confession that may be coming. Tell me more about the energy between these two. Yeah. So some of you dealt with a third party situation. This is why this person left and they've been very closed off. But the problem that I'm seeing here is, is that you both still love each other, regardless of this third party situation like I said there could have been a third person that got involved here and that really tested the relationship is what I'm seeing so what's happening behind the scenes um, with your person okay so if you are in separation what is happening behind the scenes okay three cards so you have the Four of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. The reason why this person has disconnected from you, Collective, is because this person is tired of being in this place of trying to offer you love and give love, and nothing seems to happen. Nothing seems to move forward. And I think the reason why things don't move forward between you and this person is because the offer that this person is making is just not good enough for you, okay? So it's like, okay, when is this person going to offer me what I truly deserve? You know, when am I going to truly get what I truly deserve from this person? So let's see um, what you both want what do you both want in love okay now if you're single you could be attracting this person maybe this person is ending one relationship to come and meet you and connect with you that could also be the case so what is your important love message what is your important love message you have let go of control issues. Yes, allow this situation to unfold naturally. So a lot of you want truth and clarity, okay? But Spirit is saying right now that a lot of you just need to be patient and you need to allow this situation to unfold the way that it needs to be without trying to control it. What is the important message for your person? Okay, you have deception in reverse. Okay, it came in like that. So yeah, for many of you, this person's choosing to disconnect from someone because of the deceptive energy. I feel like they um, were experiencing some sort of deceptive situation, you know, and what they really truly want right now is they want somebody who is going to be honest with them. Okay, and you want this as well too, because you're with the Ace of Swords here. So a lot of you are gonna be meeting somebody here who, you know, um, you really see this person has a lot of potential, but there's two stories I'm getting here. Some of you are attracting somebody who's decided to leave someone because they cheated or lied, and now they're going to be meeting you. Um, but there's been a lot of healing that's needed to take place between you and this person. Now for others of you, this is about this person disconnecting from you because you've been too controlling. Okay, there's been way too much control. You've been controlling this person. This is somebody who doesn't like to be controlled. Okay, they don't like to be controlled. They want to just move forward and be in a connection with you. So what is the overall energy um, when it comes to you and this connection? Okay, you have keep an open mind in reverse. So I feel like you and this person, um, 
it's like you both need to recognize because I feel like a lot of you haven't met this person. OK, so if you're single, you haven't really met this person yet. It's going to be a process. A lot of you are going to be meeting somebody new OK, in the new year. In the new year, there's someone new that you're going to be meeting. And this is why you have keep an open mind, because a lot of you are closed off, especially, especially if you um, were dealing with someone here who wasn't honest with you, someone who lied or took advantage of the situation. I definitely see a third party here. OK, um, so a lot of you may have experienced recently somebody here disconnecting because they were deceptive okay some of you were also dealing with somebody here who just wasn't honest with you and this is why you're in the place this place right now where you're like am I ever gonna find love what is gonna happen and spirit is saying just let go of the control issues okay so this person right now they're in this place right now behind the scenes where they don't want love from anybody they want your love they want to be with you and you know they're in this place of well is um, you know is the collective going to take my offer? Some of you are not even open to taking this person's offer because look how you're coming in. You're coming in as the king of pentacles. You're somebody who knows what you want. This person, it looks like they don't know really what they want, especially if they went through a deceptive situation. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing happening right now. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but this is what I'm seeing right now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get into the astrology and I'm going to see what planets and houses are affecting you and your person at this time. Um, in the extended reading, I'm going to go a little more deeper. I may clarify the astrology cards. I may not depending on if it is necessary. Intuitively, I'll know if it's, you know, if you know, um, clarifying the cards is necessary or not. Okay. So let's get into this. What houses are affecting the collective and their person at this time? Three house cards, three for you, three for your person and the planets. Three for you, three for you. Okay, so let's start off with your person. What planets are affecting them at this time? We have Vesta, and it says the goddess within your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity. You have Vesta again, the goddess within the sacred uh, spiritual center and quiet dignity, and you also have Pluto. So right now, this person is being forced to go through some sort of transition, okay? With Pluto here... Um, now, one of the things that we have to keep in mind is the North Node is going to be aspecting Pluto in Capricorn. So I feel like there's some sort of significant life changing events that are going to happen for your person. I feel like this person, if there's somebody who lied to you and wasn't honest with you and was very deceptive, it's really hitting them hard now because for some reason, this person knows they can't lie anymore. OK, they have to be honest with you. They have to really come towards you and be honest. And this is somebody who has a hard time, you know, really connecting to their spiritual center. Tell me more. I'm going to pull before I pull any more cards because I feel like I'm being called to pull the island tarot I want to get more information on your person and let's see why is the deceptive card here what is really going on with the collectives person at this time give me two cards okay wow Okay, so you have the love card and it says unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So this person needs to learn how to love themselves, okay? Um, a lot of you, I'm just gonna have this quick conversation with you because I feel like somebody needs to hear it right now. I feel like a lot of you are really pressuring yourself right now and you may be saying to yourself, you know, why is this person mean to me? Why are they lashing out on me? Why are they, you know, not being honest with me? Why do they not care? Why are they treating me as an option? Okay, this is why you have the four of cups here, because behind the scenes, you know, anytime somebody does something wrong to you, okay, whether it's something that's completely uncalled for, it's often a cry for help. Okay, it's often a cry for, you know, um, I truly need attention. I truly need love. I tr And this is what this person wants. You have love, okay? This is why you have the lovers at the center of the reading. But the problem is, is somebody here believes that, you know, by disconnecting and kind of just going off and being with somebody else, that's really going to make them happy. Because here's the thing, a lot of you love this person, they love you, but there's not enough love between you and this person. And there could even be a lot of pain and unresolved issues between you and them, which is I, what I strongly feel right now, especially if there was a third party. So what I see here is, is that this person loves you, okay? They love you and they care about you, but I feel like they love and care about you for the wrong reasons, okay? And this is why they're disconnecting from the situation because 
often when the Vesta cards come up, it's about you really going within and really looking at yourself and who you are. Okay. And I feel like this person right now is being forced to look at who they are. So when they lash out on you or get angry at you, it's not necessarily you. It's them dealing with unresolved issues that they need to confront within themselves. Okay. You have hand of cards and it says, take a chance, risks being strategic, options not showing hand gambling. So this is somebody who doesn't really show you the truth. There's somebody who is not interested in confronting the truth. And this is why their energy right now is them disconnecting from the situation. And a lot of you are saying, well, is there something wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you is what I'm seeing here because all you want to know is you want to know if it's going to, if this is who you need to be holding on to. Okay. Because your focus right now, King of Cups and Queen of Cups, this is too, um, these are two lovers. These are two, you know, soulmates. And this is how you feel with this person. You feel like this is your soulmate. But Spirit is saying, don't control the situation because this person, they need to go through their stuff. You need to allow this person to go through their stuff, okay? So let's see what houses are being affected right now. You have the 10th house. So this person, financially, you have the second house and 10th house. This person's having maybe financial issues, difficulties here. This is why they can only offer you the page of pentacles energy. So you're dealing with somebody here who their finances and assets are being affected. Some of you want to get married to this person, but they're not able to marry you because they don't have enough money. And Pluto here is what? Your ability to transform, take a big leap forward and rebirth. So in order for this person to completely get back to their senses and really give you the love that you seek, there's something here about you allowing this person to disconnect from you and that's why it's happening okay so if you have a high expectation which I feel like a lot of you do you have this expectation where you're like yeah I want you know I want to be in a serious relationship I want to be with someone who's going to be honest with me and tell me the truth and go through the hard times with me okay because it's one thing to just be in a relationship with somebody just to be in a relationship and it's another thing to really go through the necessary changes that it takes to be in a relationship, okay? This is why your person has the five, um, the fifth house, excuse me. So the fifth house is all about romance. It's all about children. This is what this person wants. Some of you are even dealing with somebody who's very creative, okay? But the thing is, is they need to confront certain things within their life and they need to realize that they're dealing with somebody here who knows what they want. It looks like you know what you want, okay? I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that you know what you want. Um, moving forward. So what planets are affecting you? You have the sun, the moon, and the moon twice. So your subconscious mind is definitely, um, you know, being, being, um, challenged here. I feel like, you know, now that we had the solar eclipse, the solar eclipse, um, happened on the 4th of December, which is the moon and the sun in conjunction. So a lot of you are having your rebirth right now. You're really starting to come to this place of, you know what, saying to yourself, I'm in touch with my emotions. I'm in touch with, you know, what I want in my life. A lot of you are learning that, Right now, the only person that you can control is yourself. And a lot of you want to have a new beginning. A lot of you want to get in touch with your emotions. You want to see what is going to work for you. And if you're dealing with somebody here who's still going through a transition, you need to allow this person to do that. Okay. If you have some sort of expectation and this person can't give you what you want, then the more you release the situation, the more spirit is going to work on this person. And that's when I see them coming back to you. Okay. So this isn't over. And the the reason why it's not over is because the lovers is here this is you and this person really love you really love each other but somebody here has become closed off air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini because they're hurt over something that either has happened in their career something that has happened in their personal life or something that has happened you know in in the past that they haven't resolved okay so this is what I'm seeing here now the houses that are affecting your love life we have the 12th house the third house and the sixth house okay so for many of you right now communication is really important um, you know, expressing how you feel. Some of you don't express. Okay. Um, and if you do, it's not enough. It's like, you're not expressing really what's truly, you know, deep down inside what's really bothering you. So if there's something here that's been bothering you, your health, your work life, you know, some of you need to express that third house. You need to express what's on your mind when it comes to this person. Now, one thing I want to mention to you is, is that yes, relationships do go, go through ups and downs, but if there's constantly arguments, issues, problems with you and this person, then a lot of you need to ask yourselves if this person is truly yours, like for you, are they truly for you? Okay. Because relationships shouldn't be hard. They're not you know, fighting all the time, we, we start to think that fighting all the time and being in this angry energy all the time is normal and it's not. Okay. So 
you know, if a person that you're dealing with has not gone through the necessary healing process and they haven't really done the inner work, then that could be the reason why this person keeps constantly disconnecting from you. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing right now in terms of, um, what is going on with you and your person. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get into ask a question, get an answer in a moment. I'm going to be shuffling some cards and explaining to you exactly what is going to happen in the extended reading. So in the extended reading, I'm going to be pulling um, cards for each sign. So all the way from Aries to Pisces, I'm going to be pulling a card to see what actions or what's happening, you know, with your love life, who's coming into your love life. If you're single, who's coming into your love life. If you're already in a relationship, is this person coming back? I'm going to get specific messages and details for each sign. Okay. So if you're somebody who's like, I need specific answers and details, it's like a mini personal reading in the extended for each sign. Um, I'm also going to be looking at this energy that I've pulled. So if this is your story, I will be going a little bit more in depth. Um, we're going to be looking at how your person's viewing you, how they feel about you, actions they're likely to take, um, potential outcome, as well as if you both wanted to say something to each other, what would you say? I'm also going to be pulling, okay, in the extended reading, I'm going to be pulling, um, six more cards. So for ask a question, get an answer. So if you, um, you're here, you're watching, ask a question, get an answer and three questions aren't enough for you. We have another six in the extended. Okay. So Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay. So those will all be revealed in the extended reading and the link will be, um, in the live feed, or you can also check out if you're watching this after the live, you can check it out um, in the comment section. Okay. All right. So ask a question, get an answer. So how does this work? It's hundred percent free. You can ask your question. I highly recommend that you hit the like button. Okay. So by you hitting the like button, it shows that you're very grateful for this reading. That's the first thing. The next thing um, is you can comment the question in the live feed. So if you're watching this live, then you can comment. It's actually better when you're live and you're watching this because the energy is here, I'm here. So it's more um, in tune with the energy. Now, if you're watching this after the live, no problem. You can comment below in the comment section. Okay. And that will also help uh, spirit see and hear your message to give you the right answers back. Okay. So ask a question, get an answer, ask a question, get an answer. Drum roll. Okay. So ask a question, get an answer. Now, when you are asking your question, make sure it's a question that can be answered with a yes or no. If you're asking questions like what's my person's favorite color, what underwear are they wearing today? When are they going to log in so they can chat with me online? When are they going to ring my doorbell? When are they going to text message me? I want specific dates, times down to the hour, minute and second. Then this is not going to be the reading for you. Okay. This is an ask a question, get an answer. You ask a question, you get an answer, a yes or no. Okay. And this is general by the way. So ask a question, get an answer. You have big, happy changes. Yes. This means a yes. Okay. Big, happy changes are coming in for you. So prepare to celebrate when it comes to this situation. Okay. Ask a question, get an answer. You have yes. Yes. This is a yes. hundred percent. Ask a question, get an answer. You have remain positive. This is also a yes too. Okay. So very good. Very good. Now, before I let you go, we're going to be seeing what you're manifesting. I'm going to be pulling one card for the collective and we're going to see what you are manifesting at this time. What are you manifesting at this time? Stop right there. We have, Ooh, successful career. And it says happy working environment. Um, it says pay raise and promotion. So if this is something that you wanted more success in your career, I feel like 2022 as well as this month, December is going to prepare you for those changes that are coming in. Okay. So if you like the reading, do hit the like button. Um, want to thank you all for being here. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. I'm sending you love and light. I will see you in the extended reading. We are going to be revealing your important message for a year 2022 who's coming into your life are the is this person returning what can you expect moving forward i'm also going to be getting into you and your person we're going to see how this person feels what do they want to say to you um actions are likely to take as well as the potential outcome for you and your person i'm sending you lots of love and light and i will see you all on the next one bye